so the first thing is sound cards you need to have two sound cards if you're going to uh, be using a laptop and uh, this is the, the the inexpensive way to go uh, let me show you this is one sound card that you can use it's only twenty three dollars well it, the prices can vary but around there and uh, if you're gonna be doing a little more professional work then you can use this sound card uh, it's two hundred dollars they vary on price but this sound card will you won't need two sound cards with this one this will be your main sound card and this one has uh, microphones for two for two microphones it, ha it has the master output in the back and it has the headphones here in the front too so everything will be outputted and inputted through this sound card okay so that's about it with sound cards let me show you how you will configure it you will go to config on virtual DJ usually you will have this type of setting if you're using a laptop uh, you wanna if you're gonna go the inexpensive way you always wanna choose this this setting right here headphones okay and then you're gonna select two sound cards uh, the first one would be the sound card for the master or you can switch this around but that the, you can just leave it like that so the first one's for the master the second one second one's for the headphones so you can see the first one here is the master sound for the crowd and the second one would be the headphones one the, which mine is this one actually no it's not that one it's real tech something uh, this one okay and that will that that your 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 setup is actually gonna be different I mean it's gonna be called different different names depending on what kind of sound card you have mine's a real tech and an MV24 uh, if you go the more expensive way once you install the drivers for the sound card for the the one that's two hundred dollars or whatever it is the one that all in one you're gonna have to go to uh, ask your drivers for that specific sound card and in and once you once you install your sound card it should it should show up here mine I have a BCD 2000 ask you uh, controller that has an integrated sound card so that's the one that's showing for me but yours depending on which one you get uh, that that's what it will show that's where it will show okay um, that's about that that's about it for sound cards um, the next one the next thing that I was gonna show you what was it I forgot Did I close it no, it's right here oh shortcuts there we go um, close close this up you're gonna go when when you wanna control virtual DJ from your keyboard uh, for example for loops for loops you know it's hard to be going with doing it with your mouse if you don't have a controller in controllers sometimes don't have that many activating buttons you know so you can have more more buttons on your keyboard controlling the program to do that you would go let me show you what I'm talking about first let's say we load this song and it's playing so now we hit an effect here and it cuts it down brings it down and it gives you a little flanger sound uh, I have to do it with the mouse right now we're gonna do it with the keyboard uh, go to configuration right there and then go to mapper make sure you got the keyboard selected here we're gonna say new this gets highlighted press the button on your keyboard that you wanna program it to I'm gonna press num1 on the on the number pad on my keyboard because I'm using my desktop so it learns the key right there and then you press action learn and then you press the button if you want record sampler whatever loop for whatever I'm gonna press effect here why is it freezing you see here it, it learned that that key that that button that I pressed and when I when I'm playing the, 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 the music I can just hit that specific button see number one on my keyboard and it, and it uh, activates that button uh, there's there's all the short all the shortcuts that the, the the default shortcuts the virtual DJ comes with are are here so make sure you learn all of these ones uh, I pretty much know know most of them and it makes my life a lot much simpler when I'm DJing uh, so it, it, it seems like overwhelming because it seems like a lot but it's not really once you once you get the hang of them um, and it and if you want to learn 
you can do a lot of things that don't show on the on the virtual DJ on the display on the skin by by configuring code here for example like to this code you can add more things that when you press the number button you can space bar and then you can add more things here you see if I select this, this one out to mix escape it tells me what it does and I can add that to these after after the code that has been added automatically already and if you want to learn how to program virtual DJ you can just click that button there if you didn't see which one I press I press this button right here and it took me to this website to virtual DJ website and it shows you VDJ script and that will if you read all of these and just follow all the instructions you will learn how to program the language of virtual DJ um, what's the next thing I already show you these ones learning which yeah I just show you that iTunes 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 is amazing to make playlists because you can do it in virtual DJ and you can watch my other my other tutorial on uh, filter folders it's pretty much the same thing I'm gonna be showing you on iTunes right now but uh, it just seems it just seems much better on iTunes because you can actually see the, the name the genre the the artist and everything so that's why I do it in iTunes um, so to create a smart playlist you go to file uh, smart playlist it's new smart, smart playlist for example if I want the, the a, a playlist that will have the genre I must select genre and then I'm gonna co that contains the name let's say uh, classic classical classical okay and you don't have to do unless you, only, you unless you want a limit but I want them all click yes it gave me a playlist you can name it here whatever you want and it, and it inputs all the music that has the genre of classical in that playlist and if you add more music to iTunes with that with that a specific genre it will automatically add it to your iTunes and and when you're DJing you just go to iTunes and you'll see your your playlist here uh, I don't see it okay know why it's not showing um, because I have my iTunes library in another hard drive I have it in my E drive not in my regular C drive like most people would have it as a default so what you need to do is you need to go to if if you have it on another hard drive and it's not showing it's not updating your iTunes library some people have their library on an external hard drive this will be the case and, and iTunes I mean virtual DJ doesn't update automatically so you need to come here and select if go to your, your your iTunes folder where iTunes is being saved if you have it on an external hard drive select this one iTunes library XML right click say copy and then right click on the folder and click paste and gonna, you, we're gonna change the name to delete this and right before library we're gonna put music with capital M music space enter so we're done with that then we're gonna go to virtual DJ right click select folder I'm gonna go to my terabyte drive and then search for iTunes right here I have it here under this folder okay so now it should show you see classical right there and now from now on anytime that I add more music to iTunes with that genre or whatever iTunes you can organize your music as long as you you give it a good name an artist and a genre that's pretty much what you need and then remember to analyze your music um, that's about it alright guys um, I'm gonna give you the link for my uh, playlist on uh, on other virtual DJ tutorials and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it hope this was helpful please uh, comment and uh, and if you got any questions please ask them maybe anybody, someone someone will help you if nobody helps you most likely I will help you um, thanks for watching and I'll see you around bye